faster race, but we will see what they are doing. We see Daniel Nero now. And his teammate Giuseppe Bramante. Daniel Nero in first position. Nolan Beriat in second, Bart swings. Then we see Morel from Spain. Behind Bart swings, we see Diogo Marreros from Portugal. Silver medal winner this tournament yesterday. It's also it's just a strange thing, right? The world champion from last night on the points race is not racing here. Is the Colombian team so strong? Do they have so many good skaters or? Yeah, they have. I mean, Zapata wasn't racing on the track. I thought uh, Manuel Saavedra and Cujavante did both of the races. So it was the uh, was just one race for Zapata and he took the win. So now I think they will maybe try to get Saavedra on the podium. Well, this will not be easy in this field because we see a lot of top class skaters. They are all top class skaters, otherwise you're not in this final. Well, do we have 32 top class skaters in the world? What do you say? Sorry, the do music is really loud. Oh, we hear the music. Do we have 32 top skaters in the world? I mean, I see a few skaters I never heard before. Maybe that's my problem. But some skaters from Japan, some skaters from the United States are not that familiar to me. Well, of course, there's a different level, but all of these skaters made it first to qualify for their own countries. Of course, not everybody can win this race, but we can have some nice surprises, you never know. Maybe like yesterday, because the victory from the Colombian skater was a surprise for me. Yeah, it was a few years ago in the Netherlands to try ice skating. And he was just skating with the girls. He wasn't really, yeah, he had to learn it. He wasn't really good at that moment. And now he's, yeah, he's world champion. And I saw some posts on Instagram that he was thinking about a retirement, but he kept skating. And yeah, it was also a surprise for him. You saw on his face that he became world champion. Yeah, and we see a different tactic from some countries. You see a lot of guys fighting for the first positions in the peloton, and then you see the guys from South Korea. They're totally in the back, relaxing, don't waste any energy. Maybe that's a good tactic for the first part of the race. But when the eliminations are there, you have to move up. Yeah, and they have to take care that they are not crashing. We also see uh, Martin, Martin from France, <laughs> in the back of the peloton. Martin from France. Could have been a Dutch guy, actually, Martin. Yeah. Or a Portuguese guy. The former teammate of Diogo Marreros. There we see for the first time Crispine Arians in the lead in front of Livio Wenger and Kuge Fante from Colombia. Now we see the guys from USA on the outside. And it's, you see the two South Korean guys chilling in the back, relaxing, don't waste any energy, and the front skaters are fighting. So yeah. but if you're in the back now, it's pretty hard to go up front, right? Totally to the front, it's a long way. Yeah, but if you keep trying like to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, you better, yeah, it's easier to, Keep one place like you see the last seven skaters doing now. Also Stefan Dewey Schmidt from Denmark is staying there and a guy from Portugal. Yeah, so it's Patti Paila from Spain. We saw Daniel Nero trying to uh, be in front of Felix Reinen. It's not easy for a little guy like Daniel Nero to Fight I think with Felix never Felix. knew he was there. Probably. It's like the mouse and the ole ole elephant. Oh, the other guy of Italy. 
was straight, so I don't... It's the same as the, in a woman's race. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of changing in position. And the South Koreans pick this time to try to go to the front. Yeah, they but don't do a breakaway like the girls did yet. But it's also like if you're in the peloton now and you're because it's changing so fast, you're also quickly in the back of the peloton. So Livio Wenger has two warnings now. So he's not allowed to get another warning. Then he's disqualified and out of this race. And we see big Felix Ryan and the guy from Germany is now in the lead, followed by his teammate from Power Slide, Belgium skater Bart Swings. Talking about warnings, I don't see Peter Michael in this race. He had two warnings this morning. What happened? He was fighting a lot with Bart Swings this morning, and he's actually not in a race. So maybe he got disqualified or just decided not to race. I actually don't know, but he's not in this race. We have uh, no Peter Michael in this race as no Boyasu Koretsu is eliminated on place 31. Maybe, like you said, Sundry Tuss, maybe sick. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. Maybe they are both having a fever or so. So or they're the just Japanese, out of shape. The Japanese skater leaves the race now. And we see Chris Arians from the Netherlands too far in the back. His teammate Gary Heckman is in a good position. So Chris Pine move up and go to Gary. Yeah, they are not racing with uh, earphones, I guess, earplugs. He's okay, because my uh, Jakob Ulreich is in the back of Chris Pine. It's the guy from South Korea, Yong Byung Kwan. He got some good results last year in the junior category. Yeah, he became world champion, I think. But he's oh, out now. I think now. he became second. So yeah, the Spanish skaters are leading now in front of Gary Heckman. Uh, the guy from Korea was more of a point racer. He was points elimination champion on the track and a silver medal on the 10K points on the road and also a bronze medal in the elimination race on the track last year. But that was all in junior. So we see Belgium skater Tim Sibiet in the last position now, but he's moving up, so he will not be eliminated. It will be the guy from what? No, South Korea. What was he doing? He was like sitting with his hands on the back. Yeah, the two South Korean guys are out already in this race. And Chris Pine Ariens, who was in the back of the peloton just two laps ago, is now skating in the front. Yeah, now we see Gary Ekman in the back of the peloton. Just five skaters behind him. So they better come together, right? It's easier. Yeah. You see the, the most countries, but not all, together. But it's a lot of time, like, moving to the back and the front. So when you take a lot of skaters with you, your teammates can be just in two seconds in the back of the peloton. They need to find each other. Yeah, so we don't have any idea who's the leading guy for the Netherlands this race. It can be Gary, it can be Chris Pine, or maybe they don't have a plan yet. We have Tim Sibiet now out of the race. 27 skaters left and 44 laps to go. Okay, so now we see Felix Reinen in the front. Yesterday he was in a good breakaway, but he was not strong enough to make it to the podium. Will he be today strong enough? Well, normally Felix is more of a points racer and he's also strong in a marathon and he's all by himself. Is he racing for Bart Swings now as they are teammates? It really looks like it, huh? They're yeah. teammates in the power slide team. And Bart has no teammate anymore in this race because Tim Sibet is already out. Yeah, probably the guy from Ger other guy from Germany now. Or the guy from Austria. No, it's a guy from Austria, Jakob Ulreich. Place 27 for him. Yeah, and it's still Felix Reinen in the front of the peloton. He's leading this race in front of his teammate in the power slide team, Bart Swings. And the two French guys are now following them. 
followed by the Italian and the Colombian skaters. We see a lot of countries together, France, Italy, Colombia, Spain, USA, but the Dutch guys didn't find each other so far in this race. Yeah, so Gary is in the front of the race and he wants to go there somewhere. Oh, will it be David Pedro from Portugal? We see also Pachi Peola in the back. No, it's David Pedro from Portugal. Yeah, we see uh, Pachi there. But he's a strange skater sometimes. He can be in the back, but just a few laps later, he's totally in the front again. So he knows what he's doing. You see his teammate looking for him. Hey, dude, what are you doing? We need to move up. So for the first time this race, the two Dutch guys are together now in the front of the peloton. It's Gary Heckman who's leading in front of his teammate Chris Panarians. And there is Belgian Bart Swings who goes around him and takes the lead now. We saw Daniel Nero trying to get the place behind the two Colombians. But he's now behind Bart Swings in second position. And we see the guy Philipp Fosner from Germany who has to leave the race now. 24 skaters in the peloton and 38 laps to go. Yeah, so Bart Swings is leading the group now. And there is Martin Ferry from France. Oh, oh body check yeah, between and Bart Nolan. Swings and Nolan Bedioff. There was, there was no space. There was no space for Nolan, but... Bart Swings decided not to fight. It's not, not a good idea to fight too much because this costs a lot of energy. Ooh, what is the French guy doing? Martin. Martin. <laughs> yeah, we just call him Martin. He was grabbing. Ooh. Aye, aye, a aye, lot aye, of aye, fighting. Aye, 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 aye. A lot of grabbing. And we saw Daniel Nero fighting with Pachi Puella, with Kugevante. And we see Renato Campana Lalama leaving the race from Ecuador. Yes, yeah, so they're all fighting for the back of Bart Swings. It's oh. a lot of fighting now. Nolan Beliov and Diogo Moreros. We see Kuvevant is now behind him, followed by his teammates and the two skaters from Italy. And we see that Bramante wants to have the back of Daniel Nero. But also, Diogo Moreiras wants to have the back of Daniel Nero. As they know each other very good, as they are skating for bond skates together. Oh, nice move from Chris Pinarians. He's now behind Kugevante and Bart Swing, so he has a good position now. And we saw the guy from USA, number 94, Zachary Stoppelman. No, it was Olivia Wenger who eliminated. As he was already out of the peloton, probably. Yeah, he was in the back of the car. He was dropped already, yes. Ah. So, next elimination now. No, the bell is now. So, the next elimination will be in one lap. Chris Pine Orange is leading in front of Gary Heckman. So, I think they are racing for Gary. Gary Heckman is actually a very fast skater. Maybe he can surprise them. Surprise us with a medal today. Yeah, probably. That would be a surprise. It would be the first medal for the Netherlands um, without the junior men, as they took all the medals so far. And we see Zachary Stoppelmore in the back now. He has to leave the race. Yeah, and Frenchman Martin is also in the back of the group now. So Chris Pine Ariens is taking the lead. He is a strong skater. He is one of the strongest skaters in the group, that's for sure. He was world champion marathon in 2013 in Sanford. No, it was later, 15. No, it was Which in, distance? But a marathon. In no, Boston. it was actually 2013 in Belgium. Oh, yeah, I was right. As I heard, Bart Swings thought that it was you, Jan van Loon, in the breakaway. But it was Chris Pine Ariens, and then he took the win solo. Because everybody knows that you don't have to not let Chris Pine go. Yes. If it's, just, if it's Jan Vallone, just let him go. But Chris Pine, you cannot do it. 
because he's so strong. And when he skates alone, he never stops. So we hope to see this again in the marathon in two days. Yeah, as we are talking, David Morel from Spain has to leave the race. The guy from Chile is moving up now between the Dutch guys. Yeah, so Gary will probably pass him on the next trade, I would say, but... He seems okay with it. He seems okay with it, yeah. Maybe it's better to have two skaters in front of you, like from one. But now we see Felix Ryan moving on the outside. So He's taking a lot of skaters with him. So we have 29 laps to go, so we're over halfway the race. And it's Martin in the back. Oh, fighting with Stefan Dewey Schmidt. And it looked like he pushed him out of the corner. So, no, it's Stefan Dewey Schmidt who's out. Place 20 for him. 28 laps to go. So, again, the Dutch guys go to the front with Chris Pine Ariens and Gary Heckman. When they hear the bell for an other elimination sprint. But they're not to the front yet. It's still Felix Reinen, but there they are together in front of Felix Reinen from Germany and Bart Swings. We, we see Martin from France in the back of the peloton with Giuseppe Bramante from Italy. Martin Ferrier on the inside. A guy from Chinese Taipei in the back. Number 25, Fu Xuan Ko from Chinese Taipei. And there is Daniel Nero from Italy. He still looks strong. It seems easy. Yeah, and together Diogo with... Diogo Marrero's in his back. Teammates with the bomb skating team. So they know each other. Again, a lot of fighting behind Bart Swings. Yeah, and while we are here in Arnhem, we see Belgium leading against Brazil with one against O in soccer, for the ones who wants to know. So maybe if someone's telling Bart that his country is leading and on their way to the semi-final, probably on the World Championship, oh, Bramante and Reinen are fighting. So what will the judges decide? Is Bramante out by fault or will it be Felix Reinen? 64, Bramante out. Yeah, and Felix by Reinen should concentrate fault. on the race now. Yeah, so Bramante by fault. So still Chris Pijnaren in the lead. He's working really hard to get Gary Heckman in the final of this race. Can they do it? Yeah, we see Felix Reinen with Santiago Rumek in the back of the peloton now. You see a little gap between the guy from USA and Diogo Marreras from Portugal. Yeah, and the defending world champion, Nolan Beriaf, is still in the race. We didn't see much of him, what is normally a good sign in this type of race. Santiago Rumek from Argentina is out of the race now. Yeah, Nolan Bediaf sitting there in the back of Bart Swings. It's a good position for now. Not in the last lap because it's very hard to pass the Belgian skater in the last lap. So there is Daniel Nero again taking the lead. I think he doesn't want to lead, but he's by himself now. Yeah, so I think he will slow down a little bit after the next elimination sprint. Let the Dutch guy pass and try to hop in. Yeah, as you see here, it's really hard to be in the back because you have to sprint really hard. Will it be Pachi, Felix Reinen or another guy on the inside? No, it's Felix Reinen from Germany. But like I said, Daniel stopped skating fast and now he's back in the group, trying to get a good position. He's behind Diogo Marreros now. Yeah, Diogo Marreros is behind the two Dutch guys. Then we see the two skaters from Colombia, Nolan Beriaf 
Oh, and Ken and Kuala tries to be in front of Chris Pine Arians. Yeah, and there was no space, but it's so hard to stop a skater from doing that. So there are not that many skaters left anymore, Lisanna. You know how many skaters yeah, left now? Yeah, we have only 15 skaters left and 19 laps to go. And we see Martin Ferrier from France leaving the race now. Place 15 for him, so 14 skaters left. So again, Chris Pine Aring is, is in the lead. He's leading in front of Gary Heckman. And Chris Pine is so strong. He's doing a great race so far with 18 laps to go. Yeah, we see the guys from Colombia in the middle of the group now. As I said, Manuel Saavedra is moving to the outside. Then he bringing Kulefanda with him. In front of Diogo Marreros now. Oh, um, we see Pachi Peula in the back now. In front of him, the guy from the USA, Herb Herbison. Yeah, the guy from USA is actually surprising in this race. He's still in, but I think he's the last Ooh. one on the line now. Ooh. Or will it be the guy from Chile? From Chile? Yeah, it's number 17 from Chile, Chile, Hugo Ramirez Boada. And he's, as we are sitting next to the USA crowd, you might hear them. So Bart Swings is leading now. Also, Team Belgium is leading at the World Soccer Games with 1-0. And he's, all the time he's followed by Nolan Bedioff. Behind Nolan Bedioff, we see Gary Heckman. Can he get on the podium in this race? We see Cujapante working for Saavedra now from Colombia. Yeah, Chris Pine so that guy who did a lot of leading in the peloton, is now eliminated. And we see, still see Herbison from USA in the race. So great race for Chris Pine Arins. He did a lot of work for his teammates, Gary Heckman. Can Gary Heckman finish it? He looks a little bit tired in the face, but maybe it's just for show. His beard is in the way, so I'm not entirely sure. He's in fifth position now. We see Bart Swings wants to sit behind Daniel Nero. And Nolan Bedioff is all the time in the back of Bart Swings now. Now Herbison is having a hard time. Can he make it another time? Oh, he's close. Well, there's also Ken Kuwada in the last position. I think it's Ken Kuwada or the guy from the United States. Yeah, it's Herb Harrison. He eliminated in 12th position. So now we see for the first time this race, Jota Bellanos. We didn't see him huh, the whole race. And there he is. Yeah, we, we just saw his, uh, the guy in the junior race, from also from Ecuador, so that Meyer might inspire him as well. Of course, we are now in the elimination and not in the points race. So the guys heard the bell, and when they cross the finish line, it's only 10 laps to go in this 20k elimination race, senior man. So we see Ken Kawada now in last position together with Pachi Puyla. And Gary Heckman in fifth position now. It's Ken Kawada from Argentina. So we have 10 skaters left and 10 laps to go. And still Gary Heckman is in this race. That's yeah, now Kuchefante, the multiple world champion on the track. He's leading in front of his teammate, Savadra. So they will probably try to get Savadra on the podium in this race. Yeah, Gary. Manuel Savadra doesn't have a gold medal so far. And all his teammates in the long distance is half. So I think they will try to give him the gold medal. Well, there's Kuchevante again, but he lost his teammate now. Yes, yeah, so Pedro thought it was enough to stay there. 
Gary yes. Heckman is in the back of the group now. Can he do it? He's going on the inside. Normally not the Yeah, oh no, the guy yet. from Chile stopped skating. So Gary is fine. Uh, Raul Pedraza from... Oh, wow. This surprise. This is not true. Can someone tell Diogo to keep skating? Oh, oh. crash! No! 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 Oh my god! Four skaters crashed. Yeah, four skaters Diogo crashed. Marais, Gary Heckman. Gary Heckman. And... Yeah, the Ecuador, the, Jota Bolaños. The defending world champion, Nolan Beriaf, is also on the ground. We only have five skaters left, and Kujapant is giving a lot of speed now as they don't want to have them, the other skaters, in the race anymore. And we have seven laps to go. And just five skaters in the first group. Oh, there was a bad crash, and hopefully all the skaters are okay. There is Nolan Beriaf trying to come back. And in now the first Diogo group. Marreros is eliminated. Oh, what a bad crash for Gary Hagman. He did a great job in this race. It was not his fault, I think. No, we and we see, see Nolan Bedioff coming back to the group now. So we have six skaters who can go for the gold medal. Or will Jota Bolaños come back as well? Six laps to go. So that's really strong from Nolan Beliaf to come back after that bad crash. He's now back and maybe he can get a medal. So it's Kuchivante in the lead now in front of Bart Swings. Then we see Daniel Nero. Then we see Saavedra from Colombia. Patsy Puerto from Spain. And from France, we see Nolan Beliaf. Yeah, and as you can see, Pachi and Nolan are having a hard time. So I think the battle for gold will go between Manuel Saavedra, Bart Swings, and Daniel Nero. But the race isn't finished yet. Maybe we've got a surprise. And Jota Bolaños is back in the peloton. And can Bart Swings get his first gold medal? He missed the World Championship for five years, and now he's back in the Netherlands to try to get another gold medal in the World Championships. And maybe this is his race, this is his distance. He yep. also, of course, has the marathon next Sunday. But yeah. maybe he can do it now. And Nolan Beriaf is going behind Bart Swings again. Like nothing happened, like he didn't crash. Oh, and Daniel Nero looks so strong. He skates so easy. He will be on the podium for sure. And we have an elimination now. And we see Jota Bolaños in the back of this group. Yeah, he has to leave the race. And we have six skaters left, two laps to go. And we see Bart Swings in front now. Two Colombian guys, Nolan Bedia from France, Daniel Nero from Italy, and Pachi Peula from Spain. So when they cross the finish line, it's only two laps to go. Only one more elimination. And then they do the last lap with five skaters. So Pachi Perla is in last position now. And Bart Swings is in the first position. There is Daniel Nero is the last skater. He looks really strong, so he has to make a move. Can you see him moving on the outside now? And we go to the bell. Ooh, Colombia in fifth and sixth. So Kufefante is out, and it's Bart Swings who hears the bell at the first position. Bart Swings is leading. Behind him, we see Nolan Beriaf. Nolan Beriaf, he crashed just a few laps ago. Daniel He's Nero on, on the outside. Daniel Nero is moving to third. Will it be Bart Swings, Daniel Nero, or Nolan Beriaf? So it's Bart Swings in lead, Bart Swings, Bart Swings will take down his first goal. Bart Swings, Bart Swings from Belgium is world champion in the elimination race, senior man. And I think it was Daniel Nero in second. Oh, and the crowd goes crazy. A lot of people here today. And Bart Swings will be so happy with this world title. Yeah, official now, Daniel Nero silver and Nolan Betty of bronze medal. Bart Swings, world champion, 20K elimination race. Yeah, Bart Swings was the strongest company, son, and we have the finals of the one lap in the juniors. Yeah, but for the Belgians, they don't have any skaters in the final. But what do you prefer to watch? 
a yeah. world championship, inline skating, or what soccer? No, for me it's uh, it's inline, but here I'm we see the last straight Bart swings. He is extraordinary. He's, he's a great skater in this elimination race. He looked strong. He was the best skater, in my opinion, last night. And there now you. he is world champion. There you see. So, Team Belgium. And we're looking back to the highlight, highlights of the last race. But Chris Pinari is here in the lead and a lot of fighting. Still a lot of fighting. It was such a nervous race, huh? I think we will see the crash again. Oh yeah, we see Nolan Betty up moving to the outside. And you saw the guy from Ecuador. Oh, oh. crash! No! No! <laughs>